All right. We're back. So let's see. If we're in a really stupid position now. Should probably... Okay, you walk past here. Uh-oh. No, okay. Ah, and that's another wall of light that we just turned off. And this guy? Let's see. Lord Regent's Chambers. Of course, he has a rune. Oh. Mm -hmm. The Lord Regent likes his chambers airy. That's not good. don't know the combination. Torturous chambers are somewhere below us and he might be an ally. spot. Huh. Okay, that's where he talked with them. it going did you have a nice break oh a book about himself except Excerpt from a series of over on overseer roles and rituals. Over the centuries, the Abbey of the Everyman has held its place as the dominant religion across the Isles. Not only do its adherents call it the only meaningful faith, but aside from a few tolerated variants, they castigate the followers of other religions as heretics, actively resulting in harm rather than harmony. A key component to the Abbey's health is the High Overseer. Oh no, wait. It's not the Regent, it's the High Overseer. Okay. A key component to the Abbey's health is the High Overseer, venerated by all other overseers, the women in the oracular order, and the congregations from each town and city across the Empire. The High Overseer is called upon to interpret the seven strictures and to initiate important ceremonies, such as the fugue feast at the end of each calendar year. Above all, the High Overseer must embody the strictures, serving as a living example of their perfection. Upon the death of the acting High Overseer, it falls upon a council made up of elder overseers to call for the Feast of Painted Kettles, the first step in the arduous process of choosing a new leader for the Abbey. This part of the game is really interesting. Well, I found the whole game so far pretty interesting. Okay. Well, there are two guys over there. I have no 
idea where to go next. Those are some scary decorations. Everywhere with the regent's head, apparently. Pretty good. The Tower of Dunwall. For over a century, Dunwall Tower has been the capital of the Isle of Grissel and the seat of power across all the Isles of the Empire. Rulers have come and gone, each adding something to the structure. Gardens, observatories, knee walls, pools and specialized interior chambers to suit their needs and whims. Dunwall Tower has, has withstood no numerous wars, several large-scale fires and the collapse and rebuilding of the Northern Wing. Okay, I think we read that before, or at least in the second game it shows up again. With Tivia and Circonus joining the Empire first, it was Morley that resisted longest. Some of the conflicts that arose also necessitated the further fortification of the tower. Repeated assassination attempts near the end of the conflict with Morley resulted in the creation of the royal protector position, with each ruler choosing his or her own royal protector after careful consideration. Failed experiments. Oh, that's Piero's. Okay, we've read those. Oh, okay. Just thought, like, do they have a tall boy there? Okay. Good. Oh, that's the spot we were at earlier. And of course we can't go there. Sewers beneath Dunwall. I think that's new. It's an odd title to pick at least. German accent. Oh, there is a German accent redeem. Okay. Across the generations, the aqueducts and tunnels beneath the city of Dunwall have served a variety of purposes. In the earliest days of the city's history, several primary canals were used by to channel river overflow during the times of flooding. And for a time, it was fashionable for wealthy aristocrats to commission underground water passages, giving them access to their estates from the Renhaven River and its minor tributaries. Over the years, these tunnels began to interconnect, sometimes by design and sometimes by accident. The history of the tunnel system is rich. As every schoolchild is taught, rebels used the sewers extensively during the Morley insurrection. As discussed in popular bar songs, lovers often find privacy in some of the cleaner entry points with fresh air brought in on the winds from the river itself. On a darker note, in addition to seeing traffic from gangs and smugglers, it is rumored that the current royal spymaster himself, Hiram Burroughs, has a network of informants who know the twists and turns of the sewer system by heart. Until recent times, the older tunnels suffered from repeated collapse, creating sinkholes that occasionally consumed entire street corners. The current system rarely suffers from such calamity since the sewers were reinforced and expanded by the city planning department during the rule of Emperor Juhorn Caldwin I. Okay. That was some interesting detail. Okay. So somewhere down there. 
Seriously? We've made it all the way up here. Now we have to go down here, down there to turn it off. to be not spotted and that sound oh oh right we don't have the key that's not good Stop messing around and come out at once. damn it Do I get that bloody key? Huh. If all the torturous chambers are somewhere over there. I'll find you, you hagfish. didn't work. Shot lots of arrows and nothing helped. You know what? Let's go back see. I hope that wasn't too long ago. Okay, that was up here. And the door down there is locked, so we don't really need to get down there. Let's see what's on the other side, I guess. That leads... The Lord Regent's Chamber Key. Have worked. Stupid God.
they seem to have the same piano purveyor as the boils. Ah, the Empress and the Empty Set. stairs so I guess that's how we get to the roof the question is what do we do about the torturous chambers That was one I shot and didn't hit. Seems weird. I guess they're aware I'm here. Tales for children. Ah, uh, we, Smiley, we had that story. What's going on there? Damn it! Someone's down! How do you know that someone is down? Didn't even see anything. Oh, torturous chamber, so I guess they're downstairs. Viciously Okay, a bone charm somewhere above us and somewhere below us. Okay. Hmm. 
He even has a shrine, how subtle. Wait, what? that supposed to do? He attacked us. Well, I guess get the rune. Within the high walls of your enemy's stronghold, what an impressive sight you make on your way to face the Lord Regent. How will you end his reign? by blood or by truth. He's not an easy man to get close to. If the Empress had been as well guarded, how different things would be now. Is it just revenge you're after, or do you have another plan in mind? Will you restore things, make it all right again and crown a new Empress? Or will you send them all howling into the void? Either way, I expect a good show. Okay. Oh, dearie, dearie, down in the cellar, so dreary. Why won't you come out to see me? When you were here, we made them scream, didn't we? Come back to visit, and I'll give you another present, carved and shiny. You aren't much in the way of proper conversation, mind you, but I do love to watch you work. Come back and I tell you stories, such stories. Your dear granny. Uh-oh. So I guess, will we be seeing granny again? she'll be angry that we killed our friend no that wasn't quite what I expected I guess this is the point where we have to see if we can upgrade anything costs eight runes. I don't think we'll get eight runes. And there wasn't anything else down there like a key we might need or something. least we can heal with the water here. That's nice. Every language has to be in German accent. <laughs> Thanks. I'm not sure I would necessarily agree, but it's fun. It's funny that this place looks pretty much the same in the second part. So they've definitely um they've definitely paid attention to that. Don't need 
to heal anymore. Good. Oh. There's an other downstairs area. Wait. Just in case this is stupid. And this train needs to go to the torture. I mean, the royal interrogator. Oh no. Why do I have to take it? He's harmless, unless you're scheduled for execution or for questioning. He's so strange. Always working on something he keeps secret. And he has that brute of a dog. Trust me, he's gentle as a lamb. Now, take him his food. Um... Are stairs. Ooh, what's this? Door. Kitchen key. Security room key. where we want to be. I want to be under the sea. In an octopus's garden in the shade. Oops. Looting in recent months. Excerpt from a letter found in an empty house at the edge of the Rudshore Financial District. The looting started in the warehouses. Ah, okay, no, we've read that as well. Oh, but wait, I think this is the wrong security room. Yeah, that's the one for the Wall of Light. Aw, oh, dang it.
Okay, that's the security room we already turned off. One gentleman of advanced age swore that his brother had been taken by the Whalers, a notorious gang associated with a man called Dowd. According to Peter Mansfeld, his brother Radoff was proud of working with the Royal Spymaster's Responsible Citizens Group, feeling no shame in reporting on what he perceived as shady dealings by his rivals at the fish markets. But this might have been the source of his trouble. On the sixth evening of the month of hearths, Radoff came storming into Peter's home, white-faced and panic-stricken, claiming to have been chased by a group of ruffians wearing the leather suits and vapor masks used by the men working the whale oil factories. Peter gave him supper and drink, sending him on his way later in the night, after which Radoff was never again seen. Okay, we've heard that name before. Someone said, da talked about Dowd's assassins. Look out, we got someone skulking around. I'll write to her again. She has to see reason. Oh, that's the statue. So how do I get downstairs? Looks 
sharp. We got a prowler. Let's just see what happens if I get another no, crack at this guy. Stupid cut. I better make a pass over here. <coughs> hmm. How did I get back there? <coughs> Guess. So can I? That's too far. Nobody's making rounds over here. <sighs> it's a table, I guess. Thought looked like a person with their head hanging over. <laughs> Okay, I guess. Stupid goddamn. Double and somehow. Rolling down. Huh. I better make a pass over here. There's this door that I couldn't see before. None of this would have gotten so bad if that damn fool Corvo hadn't killed the Empress. Okay, I think those two are the only guys. <coughs> that looks not good for your hands. Nobody's making <clears throat> rounds over here. No, no, stupid goddamn. No, but somehow look out. Oh, Got someone God. smoking around. Oh, <laughs> Exterior. I don't think that's the right way. Let's first see. Nice. No, that actually looks. Oh, there seems to be a key up there somewhere that I didn't see before. Let's have a quick peek out there. Probably the wrong way, but... Oh no, that actually... Looks interesting. I guess that's where we were supposed to get in when possessing the fish. That makes sense. That's why they gave us this little chamber, so I can actually be on the same map. No, wait. Wrong door. I know you're here. Whoops, where did you come from? Okay. Well, I guess if those two are dead, I might as well see what this switch does. You! I knew you'd come for me, assassin. But you wasted the trip. My men are disciplined, and Dunwall Tower is the most fortified structure in the city. Guardsmen are on their way to intercept you now, so run or fight. But either way. Okay, that was dumb. Leave this place alive. Huh. 
to do this no I we wanted to surprise him come on so let's let's go back here see what that is okay that was right before we ran into ah Probably hide those two. Doesn't quite feel right. This is a little weird. I'm still not quite sure. behind the wall. Oh, but there's stairs from... Okay, yeah, of course there's stairs from one flare floor up. not really useful. to be for whoops on the way down we've 
been in there already. <coughs> We've turned this off. So really, I don't think there's anything else. I can do in here. <clears throat> hmm. Oh, there's a nobody here. So Ah, here we are. Someone up there? I guess... here again kill those people here huh oh uh hello faster just die Ugh. sorry about that wasn't quite what i had intended to do but I forgot about you. Honestly. Who are you? Just a scared butler, I guess. Oh, and that leads back out here. That guy is stuck on the staircase. Slackjaw's Bottle Street Gang. Clavering Boulevard, leading to the office of the High Overseer, is still under tight control. The city watch is stretched thin, but they have dedicated checkpoints on Clavering with associated patrols. Additionally, there's been talk of erecting some of the new Sokolov security systems to protect the street, which is home to several persons of note, in addition to leading to several vital businesses. The adjacent streets are another matter. The adjacent streets are another matter. Bottle Street in particular and the old Dunwall Whiskey Distillery are currently controlled by Slackjaw and his Bottle Street gang. Not much is known about Slackjaw except that he has been particularly active during the plague crisis. As part of his illegal business revolves around the distribution of anti-plague elixir, the watch has been slow in cracking down on the, on the operation. I guess that's good. So I think I wanted to go upstairs. Hmm. There's really nothing useful in the rooms down here, I think. guess we're going to go back to the roof access then. Not sure how to do the broadcast control station. So we could probably have done that half an hour ago or so. Sokol of technology and the new age. One of the advantages of Sokolov's technologies is that they share the same magnetic socket. Oh, I think we've done that. Yeah, we've read that. Okay, 
Is there food anywhere? This is chamber pot. Jesus. Do we find out his safe? Combination. actually burn when we do that. That's interesting. So I think this was... Yeah. So now we get... the fascinating part I get, I guess. This sounds like a very ill-advised idea. He'll probably expect us to arrive here, right? roof again. This is the exact same location of the of the game's end battle, I guess. Indeed, I believe so. <clears throat> Whoops. That was dumb. Well, I guess we can look around while they kill us.
maybe there is... Watch it. Oh yeah, there's an open window here. <clears throat> was this cheating? Well, it was really more a time-saving measure. That was Get behind him. not smart and too impatient. Okay. Let him just walk past us. the only way we were able to stop that from going worse. He walk and see his friends too. That would be nice. No, he's not walking that far. I always like the stealth game cheese tactic of, uh, you know, walking close to, uh, uh, like leaving the victims out in the open. And then having one guard after the other notice them, walk up, you take them out too. The next one walks up to the two dead bodies, says, wow, two dead bodies, gets killed. Next one, wow, three dead bodies. And in the end, you have a pile there. All right. I have I have one arrow. But apparently I heard an alarm. Are we under attack? Everything's secure here, sir. Rats might have set it off, but we're looking for the I didn't get him. Oh no. How did you see me? Oh. Okay. Whoops. Seriously? This will be the loudest boss fight I've ever done. Whoops. Or maybe the shortest. Oh look, three dead bodies. Yep, that's how I play Deus Ex. <laughs> yeah.
It's, I mean, it's fun, you know, but it's taking advantage of the stupid game AI. Guess that works. Not using magic. There. Better. Seriously? What do you intend to do? I must know! Are you even capable of mercy? Hmm... Remember me? Are we going to tell him who we are? Mm, I don't think so. You'll die wondering who I am. This device is impossible. Impossible. Oh. Look. Do they make me fight so much? The Rat Plague. 
I think, yeah, we've read that as well. Losing support. Lord Regent. Since we've lost the financial support of the Boyle family, things are dire. And we've had to make major cuts. The patrol boats stationed in the Renhaven around the tower have been redeployed to North Bank to protect the few food shipments still trickling in from the farmlands outside Dunwall. Sir, I'm warning you now. This means that the approach to the tower from through Waterlock is now exposed. It's unlikely that an attack could come from the river, but I know you how you worry. Ironically, there's one thing working in our favor. Since the waterlock malfunctioned last month, that idiot who maintains the moat flow controls hasn't been able to repair it. And with Sokolov missing, no one else is sure how to get the blasted thing working again. So anyone conducting an assault from the river would have to climb up the pipes in the waterlock, which is hard to imagine. General Tobias. Look what we did. Okay, so I don't think they'll make it easy on us. Okay. I know you're here somewhere, scum. Oh, I'll find you. Okay, I can jump. Oh, I can go here. All right. the exit over here Ugh. whoa okay I guess not all enemies Is this? Oh, look! There would have been another way to get in, I guess. Oh. Well, at least we found some money lying around. Maybe that wall was up when last we came by. So now we just have to get somewhere near 
Mr. Samuel. That door doesn't do anything. Sneaky, sneaky. I wonder if we can jump down there and swim. Turn this. No, we didn't turn this off. Okay, let's see. What's that connected to? Oh, it's connected here. So we can actually turn it off. Or rewire it even. Um, that was smart. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I hope my last save. Oh, yeah, I guess it was when I'm. Yeah, here. Okay. That sort of works, I guess. when I tried to zip through there. Oh, there he is. So can I also turn it off here? That's fine, I think. Oh! Don't even need that. Nah, you won't find me. Oh, they seem to have found all your friends, I guess. Okay, I guess we're leisurely walking back home now. I like that. No question. Okay, let's try that again. Can we... Okay, just don't land on the pipes and you're good. Is it all done? You ready to go back to the hound pits? Yes, Samuel. The time of the Lord Regent has ended. Thanks to you, Corvo. All right, let's go. Okay. This means there is something else coming, I think. Is there? Because, like, this feels like there is a last mission after this. But maybe it's just a cutscene at the end. We shall see, I guess.
feels kind of weird that there would be a mission ending screen and then well we'll see oh no coronation eve the lord regent has been defeated and the reign of emily caldwin is now assured all that remains is to see her safely escorted to dunwall tower where she will assume her position on the throne oh we need to escort her i don't i don't like escort missions and remember we got attacked by these magic assassins and i thought they're doubts assassins but maybe not like because those were the ones talked about at the start Big changes. Makes me uneasy, to tell the truth. A small fry like me always gets the worst of it. But maybe it's going to be different now. The Lord Regent is gone. The Abbey has a new high overseer. I'm guessing our work is almost done. The other yeah. the bar. No doubt waiting to raise a glass in your name. Me, I think I'll just linger out here, if you don't mind. Reflect on things while we have a moment. Just don't get him killed, okay? Press J to... The Lord Regent is no longer in power. Yeah, okay. Oh, wait. The Lord Regent is no longer in power and the path has been cleared to place Emily Cald Caldwin on the throne. The assassin who killed her mother is still at large. So we didn't just kill these assassins. All of them, there are probably more. Can we... no. Where's dark vision? Oh, it's just because it's selected. Vitality, bloodthirsty, agility, shadow kill. We have five runes. If we had eight, we could upgrade. Let's see. Anything around here? No. Why do we suspect that that's not the end yet? So either it's an escort quest at the end, or everyone is dead when we come in, or both. Well, I guess... Hmm. Let's upgrade Shadow Kill. All enemies turn to ash as they die. That sounds good to me. Piero? Rutro. So everyone is inside right now. Attention Dunwall citizens, Hiram Burroughs, once known as the Lord Regent, is no longer in power. His corrupt and illegitimate regime has come to a close. Long live the Empress! Okay, besides, uh, uh, even though we didn't do anything with the tower, apparently the announcement has changed. Whoops. Emily is around. Nope. This is the story of the fancy dressed lady and the naked man. 
Once upon a time, there was a fancy dressed lady, and she came to the madam and said that the naked man wanted something, and she was mad about it. And then the naked man came in, and he said it was just what he always gets. And the madam said, if that's what he wants, it'll be ten coin each time, and that it was Beatrice he'd be wanting to visit. And the fancy dressed lady said, see? And then she left. And then the naked man said Beatrice would do. And the madam said, Ten coin, Custis. And the naked man said, Lord Pendleton. The end. Oh. Right. Custis was one of the brothers. Not our Pendleton. That that's okay then. Oh, we can finally pick up our arrows. Good thing I forgot to pick them up, now that Piero isn't here. Maybe it'll be helpful. It's a very neutral way of saying uh, the, the nobles are probably killing each other. Spreading all over the city. The tyranny is over. By this time tomorrow, Emily will be on the throne. After that, we'll clear your name and put everything we've got into rebuilding the city. I wish there were more of a city to rule. Most of Dunwall is rats and corpses. The Admiral was right, I'm afraid. Corvo, you did your job while the rest of us sat on our asses. Our work starts tomorrow. Tonight, rest easy. Tomorrow, we crown an empress. To Corvo, the man who served to change the course of history. To Emily Caldwell, and the new dawn rising for Dunwall and the Empire. She'll need higher mathematics, court protocol, and cosmology, of course. Do you provide these things? Of course not, no. I just think I should have a central role. She trusts me. It's true, she does, but she should trust all of us. Don't you trust me, Callista? You gotta get the beds in order. Uh oh. took control of the Abbey through blackmail. But perhaps over time we can wield a more legitimate authority. Emily's first act will be to rescind the warrant for your arrest. We can finally take that mask off you. When this yeah. Is over, I'm going to this is not over. We're being attacked. Someone has the music box and is trying to remove our abilities. You know, we could hold a reunion each year. I must have a portrait made. Maybe Sokolov will do it, after what we've been through here. Hello, Corvo. The Pendletons owe you a debt. You are an impressive man, Corvo. I hope they give you the credit you deserve. All this celebrating makes me feel 17 again. The Hound Pits pub will be open for business again soon. 
And so will I. Um... Oh my, how lewd! <laughs> and like you must be thinking of settling down. This doesn't sound good. We're leaving tomorrow, aren't we? I don't know if I want to go back to the tower. I can be impressed from anywhere, right? Maybe a ship. Do you know Emily is quite special? She learned from all of us, you especially. She trusts you absolutely, I believe. It will be good to hear people laugh in the streets again. Callista is losing her faith, I fear. I must speak to her about that. There's a pretty little forest just north of Holdfast, just waiting to be turned into frigates. Pretty sure they're preparing to attack us. At last, an empress on the throne again. Blood will tell. I'll actually miss this dank, dreary building when we return to the manor. For transfer of deceased persons. So many dead. When things are better, I will suggest my lord fund a memorial to them. Everyone deserves to be remembered. A nice thing to do. Campbell's black. I hope I'll make a good empress. Overseer Martin says I will. I don't like this this music. But Callista made me throw it away. Okay, we've talked about that before. Emily's happier, I think. She's such a quiet child sometimes. Eat well tonight, Corvo. You burn. We'll find this man down. Part of the Lord's Regent's ring of skulking spies and killers, no doubt. I really must get a wife. Still a few boils left, I suppose. Now, which was the prudish one again? The outsider has failed at destroying Dunwall. The people have been brought to their knees, but they are strong and are beginning to rise again. I wonder what the histories will say of me. I must remember to burn that memoir. Uh, I suspect Martin for a probably did something. Anything down here? Or why am I... Nope. Maybe here? Oh. Oh, seriously? Guess I'm out of bullets. Out of pretty much everything. Ok, 
okay. Hey. I know it's a good day, but the rats are still here, aren't they? I look out at the river and still see the bodies going by. I wonder if the Admiral could get me a post in the Navy. I don't need anything fancy. I hope he can. I guess you'll be headed back to the tower soon. It's gonna be a little easier this time, I hope. The river was in a temper this morning. Well, it's got moods, it does. Like my poor wife needs to. If you should have any need of me, I'll still be ready to go, Corvo. Just because the Lord Regent is defeated, doesn't mean I'll get lazy. I'm taking part in history here. Dunwall is on the verge of a new age, a better age. And this old sailor has had a role to play in it. I doubt I'll be remembered, because the worthy men who made this happen are truly the heroes. In one fight, okay, that's what we've heard before. Sadness of missing her mother very well, bless her. Back already? I'm happy to talk. I suspect my charm is the only thing keeping me alive. I'm beginning to suspect the Lord Regent is no longer in power. Am I correct? If so, either my usefulness is at an end, or else it is just beginning. You'd be foolish to kill me now. I can help your cause. I have inventions no one knows about. There's something odd about you. As I might have mentioned, I know that mark on your hand. Have you ever dealt in black magic? I hope my painting of Lady Boyle will be preserved. I realize it was just a tool in your machinations, but it is also great art, and her fall gives it a special quality. I don't like this effect. There's something odd about you. Okay. As I might Thank you. Mention, I know that mark on your hand. Have you ever dealt in black? Huh. There's Piero. Do you need me to put something together for you? Let's see. Do we have any upgrades that we still want? Well, we've been loud earlier. Let's get sword crossing. And let's upgrade the... Oh, we can actually get better pistol. Okay. I guess okay we can't really afford more Ugh, I don't like this effect at all Ugh. this is our chance Corvo such a chance comes once in a thousand years we'll rebuild them my devices, my designs, an entire city by Piero. He's a little convinced of himself. I'm impressed, Corvo. Maybe we can work out a separate deal for the head of the academy. You've done things no one else could. I wonder, are the others afraid of you? Probably Martin. Okay, I see no... 
device or music here. Okay, I guess it's telling us to go to bed. Attention, any disturbance in the region of Dunwall Tower this evening has been the result of a previously scheduled training exercise. Training exercises, right. They're probably preparing to attack us. Or whatever we drank poisoned us. Is there anything in the room? This was never my idea. He knows that. Certainly I am not completely guiltless, but with my position, he would be a fool to come to me. I have much to offer. Extensive business opportunities. So he'll see reason. If it comes to that. Okay, they're all scared of me, maybe. So Martin thinks I do black magic, which fair. And the the Lord whatever his name is. Pendleton. Um. Attention, Dunwall citizens. Do not attempt to interfere with the regular transfer of infected persons to treatment centers in the flooded district. So, yeah. Um. Where was the stairwell? Here. Ugh. I really don't like this effect, and it's getting worse. So they might have all gone, okay, we wanted Corvo, but we didn't want Black Magic. Okay, we don't even get to go to bed. Go to bed. Samuel, you move like you've been drinking. Did the poison work its magic? Is he dead? It better have worked. It cost me a month's profit. Yes, sir. I believe Corvo has breathed his last. Just as you wanted. You've done a fine job. Remember, we need the body. If we come forward with the corpse of the man who murdered the Empress, we'll be greeted as heroes. Yes, it'll grant us legitimacy. We'll be the men who rescued Emily and brought down the Lord Regent and his assassin. You'll see to the body, won't you, Samuel? Yes, sir. Oh. So I think Samuel is probably going to help us. I'm sorry, something terrible, Corvo. But I only gave you half the poison. They were watching me, and it was all I could think to do. I think you're strong enough to survive that. Yes. I'll put you on a raft, and then I've got to ship out myself before they find out I've got against their wishes. Snakes. They'll want to do the same to me as soon as I've outlived my uses. Hopefully you'll wake up and find your way out of this cursed city. Whoa. Betrayed by Havelock, Martin, and Pendleton, you were only saved at the last moment by Samuel the Boatman, who left you adrift in a ruined section of Donwall. That's a twist. This is oh. was with the Empress when she died. Poison. Tivian stuff. Amateur work. He'll live. That's up to doubt. Ok. 
Okay. <lacht> Looks like the one. Oh, that's just. Okay, that's just where they put the whaling ships in and process the whales. We've seen that earlier on some picture. The slaughterhouse. I know a great deal, bodyguard. I recognize those marks on your hand. A gift from your friend. The one who talks to you in the dark. Talks to you when you visit his shrines. I visited those shrines too. And I know what it felt like to shove a blade into your empress. But I don't know you. Who you are. And who you fight for. You're a mystery. And I can't allow that. Just so happens, that's the end for today. I, I don't want to end on such a cliff, am I? <laughs> it's just, <laughs> well, if it's any consolation for you, um, yeah, I will be sitting on. Uh, burning coals is that the saying just like you so it's not yet the end because we've been betrayed and next week we'll find out what happens um, so keep in mind uh Next week we'll be on at the same time, but the time will be different. Because, um, again, if you're in Europe, it's the same time. 5 p.m. to 9 or 11, if I feel like it. Um, uh, yeah. But if you're in the U.S., then it's actually one hour off. And I didn't actually update my schedule. Um, no, wait. Next week it'll be back at 8 a.m. Uh, of course, this week it wasn't for you. This week it was one hour late for you. Um, thank you for watching, Tony, Ada, whoever is here. Did you decide if you're doing tomorrow the death themed stream? Um, yeah, I'm thinking. Good, good. Thank you for the reminder. I mentioned that early at the start. Um, so I'm thinking about doing a, um, a stream tomorrow, probably same time, so 5 p.m. Central European time. It's no longer daylight savings time where we are, and the U.S. will switch next weekend. Um, and so I'm thinking about doing a programming stream then. It'll all be horribly improvised probably I don't think I'll have enough time to actually do more than uh, uh, make sure that the emulator runs um, but yeah so that's uh, where we will be going uh, I will be running the Mac OS 9 emulator again and we'll try to tinker around a little and see if I can create uh, or demonstrate how one would create something like Mist with HyperCard. Basically showing you what they probably did. Um, I'm not a 3D graphics person. I'm not a sound design person. So I will probably just be ripping out assets from the original Mist game um, to uh, do all this stuff. Um, 
so uh, keep that in mind. But, uh, you know, I'll show you the hypercard side of things. And the 3D graphics side and the movie side of things really hasn't changed that much, you know. It's you select a different codec when exporting and you can make bigger movies or something. But really, it's basically all the same. And also the problem is I looked a tiny bit into um, whether I could actually do my own graphics. And uh, I mean, you know, graphics is not the problem, but the movies, um, I basically have nothing that exports a codec um, that would work uh, in the emulator in old macOS 9, because basically everything that you export these days is uh, is something else, and I would have had to uh, figure out some arcane command line invocations um, to actually uh, make that uh, work, and I just didn't have the time for that. So, um, anyway, but, uh, you know, you learn the hypercard side of things uh, if you decide to come by and have time. If you do not have time um, but are still interested, keep in mind Twitch keeps VODs videos on demand um, of every stream, so that will still be on Twitch. And if you're watching this on YouTube, then hopefully I'll have uploaded the video um, to YouTube. Or, you know, I will probably upload it by the time you've finished. Uh, no, not by the time you finish, but like it'll probably be uploaded like one day after I upload this one. So uh, you should be able to find that stuff. And uh, um, I'm also thinking I'm depending on how long it takes me to do the first part to just demonstrate how Myst in principle worked. Um, it would be nice to actually show how a program... Uh, like how one would usually do a game with a hypercard. So depending on how much time we have, I might even tinker around with that. Um, so we'll see tomorrow, same time. Not as late as uh, this stream, though, because I have work on Tuesday. So uh, have a great week if you're starting on Monday and you don't have a holiday like me then um, uh, I wish you a good start into the work week. Otherwise, uh, you know, enjoy the rest of your Sunday of your short or long weekend. Um, it'll all be fine. Um, <laughs> oh, and uh, I should probably see if I can raid someone. Give me a second. Let's see, who do we want to raid? Is there someone on? Oh, yeah. Let's raid Nox. Um, please come along. Nox is a fun streamer. He's a reporter. A, a journalist is, I think, the, the correct term. Um, so he has lots of interesting, cynical comments about politics and the world and stuff like that. And he's playing Skyrim. And he usually plays crazy, modded, silly Skyrim games. Um, you know, like toying with the physics engine and all that. So who knows? He might do that or he might just say on Halloween, I'll scare you all and do it straightforward. Now to make sure that I spell the name right. All right. So please come along. I know if you can't stay, you can't stay. But, you know, drop in, check out what he does. Um, say hi. That would be a fun, nice, uh, friendly thing to do. And see you over there. Um, okay. <laughs>